If you're watching this show from a bicycle, I hope you're wearing a helmet. Warning, Scotty Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watts. What you doing? Found an egg on the floor, trying to find the carton it came from. Egg on the floor, huh? How do you suppose that happened? Um, Buck, you're, uh... But I'd love to help, but, you know, working. Buck, you're knocking all the... Whoa! Hey, sorry I'm not mopping perfectly. Yeah, but it's just... The egg? Oh. Ah, stomach earthquake! Or... The perfect lunch. Meh, I seem perfect their lunches. What? It's exactly 7.9 inches tall, 14 ounces in weight, a temperature of 18.5 degrees, three slices of gluten-free bread, seven cheeses, each from a different continent, and organic free-range grain-fed lettuce. It's perfect! Nope, a perfect lunch needs a pickle on the side. No pickle, no perfect lunch. You don't need a pickle. Before to... pickles were invented, uh, sandwiches weren't even food. They were used to clean floors and as uh, mattresses, actually, for tiny people. That's not true! Whatever, go ahead. Eat your not perfect lunch. Huh? Fine, then I'll be back with a perfect lunch. Lunch time! Uh... <laughs> I never realized we sold so many kinds of pickles. Guess that means you're in a bit of a jam. <laughs> Get it? Because the jam is in the next aisle. But you could have just said that, never mind. Well, if I want to find the perfect pickle, I'll just have to try them all. Ugh. These are all too tangy, too soft, too crunchy, too dilly, or too bumpy. There is no perfect pickle. Ooh. But there is a perfect pickle, my friend. There is. Tell me more, frightening stranger. Where would I find this pickle? Crazy Larry's Giant Sandwich Emporium. Sorry, wrong card. The little shop of what you seek? There you will find your perfect pickle. And now, I vanish. Imagine if I had vanished. Yeah, that, that would have been uh, something. Ooh, I just got goosebumps thinking about it. Yes, yes. Perfect lunch, here I come. You've come for pickles. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. wow! Eat them quickly. Not so fast, Grabby McPickles. This jar contains six ancient Himalayan gherkins. Rule, once removed from the jar, you have 30 seconds to eat the pickle. Not a second more, or else consequences can you be trusted. No problem. That rule is locked into the old Tiki Talk. 100% remembery power or your money back. What's the rule? As soon as you open the jar, eat 30 pickles. No, eat a pickle, count to 30, then eat the jar. Yeah, no. Wait until I'm 30, smash the jar, blame it on a cat named Pickles. I'm sorry, I can't let you have them. Once removed from the jar, you have 30 seconds to eat the pickle, not a second more or else consequences. Please, I need these pickles. <laughs> They're for my perfect lunch. Hmm. 
You're still watching, right? Tell me if I'm gonna trip on anything. Walking makes my feet hungry. Why can't we take the log bus home? Sharp corners, sudden stops, bumps in the river, pickles everywhere. No, thank you. Uh, Scary, you're we about have to, to keep these pickles safe. There's a Walking little. Walking is the best way to. Ah! Oh, you got. No! Don't let. Grab the. Nice catch. Now, Richard, no touching this box. In fact, don't even look at it. Better safe than sorry. What you think? Time to eat some dangerous floaty pickles? Nope. No unnecessary risks. This box stays closed until lunch tomorrow. <sighs> Carrying that box all the way home tuckered me out. <sighs> Safe and sound in there. I'll get a good night's sleep and be ready to do a victory dance for my perfect lunch. <sighs> and sleep. The pickles are safe, Scaredy. It's time to go to sleep. Oh, no. What are you doing? There's no need to worry. You're just overtired. Sleep. Why aren't you sleeping? Maybe because you're talking to yourself. Am I talking to myself? Yes, definitely talking to myself. I can feel my mouth moving. Check on the pickles. Who said that? You did! Ah! Okay, no more sleeping. 864,253 acorns in a tree. 864,253 acorns. Take one down, bury it in the ground. 864,252 acorns in Mmm, <laughs> huh? pickly. No! Dave, don't eat the... Chip? They're pickle flavored. Oh, sweet acorns. I thought you were eating one of my... The box is still there. Okay. Okay. But are the pickles in the box? Of course they are. One time, my uncle bought a box full of bricks, but when he got home, it turned out to be a stereo system. Really? I think he cried all night, but I couldn't hear him over the music. Why would you tell me that story? Now I have to check. See? Are they in there? Or is it just filled with stereos? Of course they're in there! Ah! Okay, forget it. Too close. Too close. Yeah, what were you thinking? You made... I just... I'm a little... Ah, don't worry, Scatty. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> oh, pickles, pickles. So perfect. <gasps> Where are the pickles? It's okay. I got them. I haven't taken my eyes off the fridge because I'm responsible. Oh, and you might want to get a new floor. This is it, Dave. The day I eat my perfect lunch. Why are you dressed as a green banana? I don't have a pickle costume, so I painted my banana costume to look like... Oh, I puddled my pickle. Weird. It hasn't rained in days. Where'd this puddle come from? <laughs> What's she talking about? They're trees. They're supposed to be giant and green. Yuck, what is going on? Hey, does this puddle look like a giant footprint to you? They all do. They all? <gasps> Turmeric, cell receive, fennel. Oh, no! Dave, we've got big trouble. I think there's a giant pickle on the loose. Uh, yeah. It was on the news this morning. They said it's going to destroy the city. No, wait. Ravage. Ravage the city. You didn't think of mentioning that to me? One, two, three, four, five. No! It's all my fault. Let's split up. If you see a giant pickle, scream. Ah! Yeah, just like that. Ah! Okay, save it for when you see the... P pickle <laughs> Enemy of the pickle. Toothpick. Oh, God. Scared, huh? Ah! I was really hoping that'd do more. He's not gonna eat you! He thinks you're a pickle! I can't be a pickle for life! I own seven other costumes! It's okay! I have an idea! Think like a pickle. Be the pickle. Crazy Larry's Giant Sandwich Emporium. Okay. Ugh, public telephone. You've reached Crazy Larry's Giant Sandwich Emporium. Leave a message. Hello, I'd like to order one giant pastrami sandwich. Yeah! Please deliver 
a sandwich in the stash in our grocery store as quickly as possible. Thank you. Hello? Ah! Uh, uh, it's just scaredy, guys. Not a giant pickle. Giant sandwich? Delivery? Yes? I have no idea what you're talking about. There's no time to wait, then. Guys, I know how to catch the giant pickle, but I need your help. A little more mustard would make it perfect. There's no time for perfect! Did I just say that? Yes, I did! Nice work, gang! Now, Buck, do you know how to drive a log bus? Nope, but that won't stop me! Here, Pickle, Pickle, Pickle! Lunch time! Be the pickle. Think like a banana. <laughs> banana? <laughs> Pickle, not banana. I, I'm not a banana. No! It's working! He's chasing us! Oh, God. Come back, giant sandwich bus! Uh, head towards the cliff. You got it. Wait, what am I saying? Do it! He's gaining on us! This is going to be close! Wait, wait. Now this, this is a perfect lunch. Eh, I've never been a big fan of pickles. Wait, Scatty, where'd the jar of pickles go? Uh-oh. Himalayan gherkins? I didn't know we sold these. A little taste won't hurt anyone. Stash and hard what? You're in the parking lot with a what? No, I didn't order a giant sandwich! Think we're just like those two crooks? You're all scared and stuff, and I'm all super tough and awesome! I guess so. What's up on the inside? Ah, I hate it when they do that. My favorite part is finding out who did the production accounting. Hey, fans, do you love Goat Police? Yes. Do you live in Balsa City? Yes! Are you willing to work for free? Yes! Goat Police is filming in Balsa City this week, and we want you to be an extra on the show. So come on down and... Keep it real. I've always wanted to be on Goat Police since two seconds ago. Well, Dave, you know what that means. What? What does that mean? Life is just one big surprise for you, isn't it? I can't believe it. We're not just going to be regular actors. We're going to be extra actors. All right. Who wants to be an extra? Oh, they'll never pick us. Come on, Dave. I'm gonna get you on Goat Police if it's the last thing I do. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. You know, you're allowed to like Goat Police and shower. Ooh, ooh, me, me wanna, extra. Anybody? This guy, here, here. Anyone at all? Ooh. <laughs> it was the squirrel. <sighs> Okay, you'll do. Places, everyone! Places! This is the most exciting thing we've ever done! This week! The tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. Dave, give me your lunchbox. Uh. Excuse me, Mr. Danger, sir. Could you sign this for my best pal, Dave? Sure thing, buddy. 
You just made my bestest lunchbox even better, RR! Scoop Police, episode 123A, scene four, take one, and action! All right, you lowlifes. Put your loot in the bag. No, Bruno, you could say please. Ow! The Periwinkle Gang. I've been on your tail ever since you stole that lollipop from my kid brother five years ago. Hi, excuse me, Scaredy Square, long time fan, first time actor. According to episode 32G, it was Danger's half brother who was robbed. And technically, it was a sucker, not um, uh. <laughs> okay, just trying to be helpful. Uh, take it from the top. Go police episode 123A, scene four, take two, and. All right, you lowlifes. Put your loot Sorry, in the... Sorry, hi, me again. Cut! Didn't you use his left hand last time? Cut, Would that cut, be a problem cut, in editing? Cut, cut, Just cut, wondering cut, if that... Take 18. All right, you... One more thing. Cut! Take 23. Howdy. Just embracing the spirit of collaboration here. Cut! Take 97. Take 103. <sighs> cut for the love of cut! Cut, 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 cut! Look, squirrel, we're going to do this one more time. No helping! Got it? The show episode something or other. Take who cares, just who cares! Put stuff in the bag and stuff. Say please. Ouch. The Periwinkle Gang. I've been on your tail since you stole that sucker from my half-brother exactly five years, three months, and two days ago. Everyone, great work today! That was a dramatic pause! Oh, that's it! We're canceling the shoot! Everyone back up! Hmm. Real smooth, guys. Real smooth. Dave, I am so sorry. At least I didn't have my lunch in that lunchbox. That's looking on the bright side. Yep. It was just filled with all my hopes and dreams in the world. And my spider collection. <sighs> There's got to be something I can do to make it up to you. We could hang out with Carl. He's a goat. No way. Fair enough. Um, we could maybe, uh... That's it! Why does Richard own a video camera? <laughs> He gets a surprising number of hits. We can make our very own episode of Goat Police right here! And this time, we can play the crooks. They're just like us, remember? No, Dave. We should play the Goat Police. They get all those exciting paperwork scenes. But we're not goats. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, Carl. Fair enough. Okay, whatever you want, Dave. Now we just need to find somebody really bossy to be the director. Okay, people, let's do this! We don't have all day! We're losing the light! I added a love story for one of the crooks. We can practice it together. Later. Places! Places! And action! Do you want to go steal something today? Oh, I do not know. I am... I am just too scared to do any of that stuff. Really? Was that too real for you? Cut! Why do I put up with this? I <laughs> never work with skunks! It's in my contract! Dave, I wasn't really scared. I was just acting. You were? Yeah, you've got to remember, no matter what I say, just stay in character. Got it? I get it. Acting is easy. Go. Give me all your loot. This is not in my job description. I'll just take these. Oh, no. The goat police. What? To the getaway car! You can take that out of my pay! Go! Oh no! We are going to crash! Crash! Um... Okay, this is the climax. You're about to pull off your greatest heist. You're feeling good, you're feeling pumped, you think you're smarter than the goat police! Now take this prop and pretend like you're gonna rob the bank. Oh boy, oh boy! Uh, does the bank know we're making a movie? Cause... No time! I want raw emotions! And... action! Does that guy seriously have a bag with a giant dollar sign on it? Can it, copper? You can't stop me. I'm a crook. 
and you're just some smelly cop who smells like a... He means to say nice day, officer, sir, Mr. Officer, sir. You'll never catch us! Please, please catch us! Oh, this is great stuff! Dave, we gotta stop this! No, no, keep going! To the getaway car! What? Every fish needs a sweet ride! Dave, they don't realize this is all pretend. We're gonna be in a lot of trouble. I don't know what you're talking about, since I am a crook. Hold it right there, buddy. Does this have side impact airbags? I don't see evidence of regular maintenance. I don't feel comfortable with this. Supposed to pause in midair? Dave, I never thought I'd ask this, but I need you to pause. I need you to pause. Fight! Get here! We did it! We made a TV show! <laughs> you don't have to be in character anymore. We're done. Well, at least nobody got hurt. <laughs> that was so awesome! Go hook the camera up to the TV. I'll get the popcorn. Uh, Dave, we need to talk. We're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Scary! Our episode is on TV! But how can it be on... Earlier today, two fugitives attempted to rob the Balsa National Bank, followed by a high-speed chase. Oh, no! This is the best day ever! Police! Open up! This is gonna take a lot of explaining. <laughs> It's Scary Squirrel Safety Corner. Scary's in a corner and he's safe. In today's Safety Corner, we're going to talk about the difference between make-believe and grand larceny. Even though what we did was make-believe, it was bad. Really bad. Once we were caught, we... Hey, what's happening? We're getting thinner. <laughs> this tickles. Wait, wait, wait. The show's not over yet. What's in... Adrian Thatcher? Stay tuned for Late Night with Dan Duck, starring me, Dan okay, Duck. Okay, enough. We've got a show to do. Okay, good. So as I was saying... Wait, 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 wait! We're not done! Justice, no police. Buried on the outside, but tough on the inside. <laughs> <laughs>